konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to say, Do you need a hand? Can I give you a hand? Can I help you? in Japanese. So, first the verb to help is tetsudau. Tetsudau. And the first kanji in this word tetsudau actually means hand. Te. And this tetsudau is not really used on its own, but it can mean to go along or something follows literally. So, tetsudau is like hands go along. But it's kind of like you work together. Just like in English, you can say to give a hand instead of the word to help, right? So I thought that's pretty interesting that we also have the kanji for hand, tetsudau, to help. And a lot of people ask me the differences between tetsudau and taskeru. Tetsudau means you help someone with something and you work together and that's the word you usually use in everyday life. So for example, you help your friend with her or his homework, then you say tomodachi no shukudai o tetsudau. We'd say someone's something or tetsudau. Or if you just want to say to help someone, you say someone o tetsudau, like okaasan o Tetsudau. But the verb taskeru is generally only used when someone is in danger. So if someone says tetsudatte, then it's just like help me with this thing, you know, it's casual, like I just need your hand. Whilst if someone says taskete, taskete, then it sounds like I'm going to die, please save me, please help me. Or someone robbed me, I would say taskete, taskete, uh, not tetsudatte. Obviously, you don't have to be in real danger, like I would say taskete while playing video games, you know, because I could die in video games too, right? <laughs> so I'd say taskete. Uh, but in real life, I've never really said taskete. Um, maybe only when I'm joking or when I want to exaggerate things. Like if my friend is tickling me, uh, obviously it's not like I'm gonna die from it, but you know, <laughs> I didn't like it. So I was like, Taskete! Like, help me from this misery. <laughs> Save me. So you don't have to be in real danger, but that's the sort of situation you use. Taskete. So you can say, Superhero wa hito taskete. Like, superheroes save people. But again, in everyday life, you'd say, Tetsudau. Anyway, if you want to say, can I help you? Can I give you a hand? Informally, you can say, Tetsudao ka? Tetsudao ka? So, Tetsudau becomes Tetsudao. This is called the volitional form. Basically, it means let's do something when you hear this o u sound at the end. Tetsudao, let's help. Kako, let's write. Iko, let's go. Hanaso, let's talk. Tetsudao, let's help. But if you add ka at the end, it means shall I? So, tetsudao ka literally means shall I help you? You can use it like can I give you a hand? Shall I give you a hand? And you can also make this even more informally by saying tetsudao ka? Tetsudao ka? So, can you hear the difference? Tetsudao ka and tetsudao ka. So, the first one is o ka. That's the standard one. And you can change this Oka into oka, small set beers, and that sounds more informal. Tetsuda oka. So, shall we go? You can say, ikoka, but you can also say, ikoka, ikoka, or shall I carry it for you? Motoka is the standard one from the verb motsu, motsu, 
motoka, and you can change this oka into okka and say motoka, motoka, shall I carry it for you? Anyway, tetsudaoka or tetsudaoka, shall I help you? Shall I give you a hand? And formally, we want to make the volitional form for the formal speech. So, do you know how to say let's do something formally? We would use the must form. So, the must form of tetsudau is tetsudaimasu. You change the last u into i and put mas, right? Tetsudaimasu. And if you change mas into masho, then that's let's do something formally. So, ikimasho, let's go formally. Tabemasho, let's eat formally. Mimasho, let's watch formally. So, tetsudaimasu becomes tetsudaimasho, and that means let's help formally. So, tetsudaimasho ka, again we add the ka particle at the end. Tetsudaimasho ka, that's how you say, shall I help you? Do you need a hand? Formally. But some people say that rather than hearing tetsudaimashouka, which is, you know, formal enough and polite enough, some people would rather hear tetsudawasete kudasai. Tetsudawasete kudasai. Especially if you are talking to older people or senpai, someone you need to respect. They might expect you to offer help rather than, you know, ask if they need one. So rather than saying, do you need a hand? They want to sometimes hear, I'll give you a hand. So tetsudawasete kudasai literally means, please let me help you. Please let me give you a hand. So this tetsudawaseru is the causative form. I've already made a lesson and this is kind of confusing, but first you want to change the last u into wa, tetsudawa, and then put seru, tetsudawa seru. And it can mean to let someone help, or usually it means to make somebody help, or to force somebody to help. So you could say, kodomo ni tetsudawa seta, to mean I made my children help me. But here, tetsudawasete, if you use the te form, te form usually means a request form, it means please do something, right? But because it's in the causative form, you translate like, please make me or please let me. So tetsudawasete is please let me help informally. Tetsudawasete. And to make this formal, you add kudasai at the end. Tetsudawasete kudasai. Please let me help. So some people prefer that. <laughs> Tetsudawasete kudasai. But you can obviously use tetsudaimashou ka to mean, shall I help you? It really depends on the situation, right? Although some people do prefer hearing tetsudawasete kudasai, some people might think I would rather be asked first if I need help or not. Because, you know, I... I can handle this on my own, like, I don't want your help. That really depends, you have to kind of see what the other person is like. And I said tetsudawasete means let me help informally, right? For the informal speech, you could also say tetsudao yo, tetsudao yo. So just the plain dictionary form, tetsudao plus the yo particle, right? But tetsudao yo is like, hey, you don't know yet, but I'm going to help you. <laughs> Literally like that, but it's just like, hey, I'll help you. Tetsudao yo. Or if you want to sound playful, you could also say, tetsudatte ageru. Tetsudatte ageru. So this te ageru means I'll do something for you. So tetsudatte ageru means I'll help you for you. <laughs> Literally, like I'm doing this for you. So that's why I said if you want to sound playful, because you can just say tetsudao yo, I'll help you. But if you say tetsudatte ageru, then it's like, hey, I know you need my help, I'm gonna help you. So it's kind of like that. And if someone offers you help, you could either say arigato informally and arigato gozaimasu 
for me for thank you. Right? Or you could say, ah, daijoubu. Or daijoubu desu. No, I'm good. It's fine. Alright, I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. And also there is a link to my Patreon page. And if you could take a look and if you are interested, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much. Ciao, Bye bye.